Okay, y'all, it's Friday, almost 3 o'clock in the p.m. So, got my little, um, I'm organizing, right? <laughs> I got my uh, bath bombs. And she ain't sent me the uh, the scents off of Amazon. Uh, the bad what they is, because it went on the box. So, I got these labels, right? I use them for different things. So, I got these off of Amazon a long time ago. And I put them on different things. So, what I did. <laughs> okay. I made this. I wrote the name Sakura. That's this one. Let's see. Sakura. And... This one is mint. We go mint. Mint. Cause it's circular and it ain't laying flat. It don't matter as long as I can see this what scent it is. And then this is jasmine. Okay, with jasmine. Let me go jasmine. Yep. Mm, smell good, y'all. And this one is rosemary. So I'll be trying to find a sticker that kind of match it. And they go rosemary. Yeah. This is blue and purple. So, yeah, let's see. so that's what I'm doing. So I got two, four, eight more to go. So yeah. And I uh look at my bag. I put my bowls, but I found some of them about for Amazon for my bowls. Hey, baby, say hey to the peace. Hey. He watching The Wire, y'all. So, I had some of these. I had some of these left. I put them in here. But they not going to stay here because I found something that I'm going to use for these. And hang them on like they people have them for okay. You got people that buy these bow hangers for their little girl bows and stuff and hang it. I, I found something. I'm gonna be a little creative. They sell these lanyards. <laughs> I'm gonna use that to hang my bows on and then hang it on the wall, right? So these it okay, these ones. Yeah, see, you see, I'm going to put like a little hook on my wall so they can hang off and then I'm going to clip them to the, clip them to the uh, strings, uh -huh. and I got some red ones, I'm going to put the red ones on that one, and then I got, what, well, purple, I'm going to put the purple ones on that one, they call face mask, lanyards, you know, but you can, leave, you, you can use whatever you want to use for, right? So, yeah. Yeah. See how I hang? I'm going to put, I got some command hooks. Or oh, I can even use a nail. It don't even matter, but I probably will use hook. And I'm going to uh, I got some space on my wall where I can hang them and just let them hang off of these. So well, that's the plan. And the string is pretty like skinny so they could clip onto the string. Yeah. I'm just letting it hang on there. Hmm, how about that? I'll let y'all see it when I do it though, but I put up my um I got ring. She just got home. <laughs> Tired, y'all. I'm not tired. You're not tired? No. It was the coffee. Mm -hmm. The coffee came through. You better get your feet down. So, mm -hmm. I got my mm -hmm. Victoria's Secret Honey Butter uh, Body Butter in here. And I got my other one in here. So, I could switch between Body Butter. She got this from um, hmm, Alta. So I got that right there. And this room spray I'm spraying. It smell good. The bath and body works. 
It smell good. I just got it. So, yeah. Hand soap almost gone. Y'all see that? But I just bought some more rain electric toothbrush taking taking up space in my basket. Um, my body wash, I think I showed y'all that last time. And then this is my mouthwash. My daughter was telling me about this, so it works really good. How many ounces is it? 16 ounces. It's healthy mouthwash, try to control cinnamon, clove, fresh breath mouthwash with tea tree oil. So yeah. And this almost gone. I'll probably get some more next week or the week after. And this ring toothpaste, which it shouldn't be in my thing, in this house for drinking coffee. Yeah, I don't really like fluoride. I haven't used it yet, but yeah, they use it. My deodorant is almost gone. I got another one though. And this my homemade body wash. And this like olive oil and peppermint. I use this for personal stuff. And I made my own like BJ spray. You know, like if you have like FBS. This is distilled water, aloe vera oil. Sometimes I put apple cider vinegar in here and uh, essential oil. But right now it's just distilled water in here and aloe vera gel or oil. It's one of them. So I think that's about it. And then I keep my uh, tea tree oil in here. Uh, I got another one. Oh, I took it out. And normally I keep my essential oil peppermint in here and these the tops. And what I did over here, <laughs> I put my uh, let's see, can I get it right? Yeah. My body scrub. This is my little rack right here. And the wash. Oh, it smells so good, y'all. I need to clean it out. I'll do that next. Let's see. They be taking showers and yeah, uh huh. And this one almost gone. So when this one almost gone, I use this one. But I got this off of Epsy. It's a whipped sorbet soap scrub. And that's my body wash. And this again is they stuff. So, so that's why I put my stuff at y'all. Um. In her noodles. No. You got your chopsticks. I put my card right here. And on my card. Yeah, let me finish labeling these bath bombs. So yeah, this Friday for us. We're gonna have movie night tonight. Oh, and I'm lighting my candle. Rose water and Abby. Y'all had to clean the bathroom up today, y'all. And clean my dough. I have y'all been busy. <laughs> Alright, please. I forgot to show y'all what I did with my nails, y'all. So this is what I did. So that's the glue. But it is though. Right. I think I've been here these. And this one of the ones she got me. And these, these are so pretty. I think I'm gonna put them on. Oh, these are so pretty too, y'all. Uh, these are so pretty too. Yeah, I think I hear I've been these. <laughs> That's she. She could get off work. Oh, she off. And these are so pretty. That's cute. Mm. I'm trying to, my eye and hand coordination is jacked up, because y'all didn't know. And these, these cute, so I like this color, like a, like an olive green maybe. Mm. Yeah, I think I've been had these, yeah. And this one she bought me. 
I didn't have these. I don't know where I'm on oh, these ones she bought me. Oh, these are cute. Yeah. And I didn't have these. They like lavender. Let's see. I don't want to make mama ass. It's pretty. So, yeah. And I've been here at these. These cute too. I got glitter. I got these. I got a glitter one. I'm pretty. Oh, I like these, y'all. These are so cute. Pretty. And I wore them too. And we got these. I like that color. I like that on my nail. I'm black. Mm. The accent uh, is cute. Ain't that cute? Ooh, okay. Uh, uh, and my yellow ones. I wore these too. Oh, I pink it. I pink it, yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh, I think I wore these colors together. I can wear when I wore my uh, yellow dress. And then these are almost gone right here. So that's how I put the little two glues that came with it. Ooh. We're supposed to go to the movie Sunday. So I'll probably do my nails tomorrow. Y'all will see. No. So yeah. No. So I got a little more space for one, two, three, four. And then I got a whole another one. I got these off of Amazon, y'all. So let me get to finish labeling my uh, uh I think she uh messaging me y'all. Uh, let's see. Uh, 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 what she saying? Let me message. My time here. Huh? Yep. So okay, y'all. Uh, let me get back to work. So I have forgot to show y'all what I had to do with my nails. And after I got two like these. These like my last set, my first set is in a bigger one. So how do y'all? So it's gonna be kind of complicated. And these is my earrings, y'all remember my earrings. And This is my first set of nails. I done kind of wore all these and I've been mixing and matching them now. Yeah, these are my dark color ones, I guess. Yeah. Well, I ain't get a chance to wear these, y'all. These so pretty. Look. <laughs> oh, just bear with me, right? Okay, okay. <laughs> ain't these cute, though? Ooh, that's so pretty. Maybe when one of my girls get married and have a wedding or something, I, I'll say them for that. Well, one of my daughters is married, but she got married at City Hall, so that's that. So a lot of um, these I don't wore. They kind of leftovers that I mix and, mix, mix and match. So that's this one. This one big. This one big one. So yeah. I put my nail thing in here that she bought me in here with my nail clipper and all that type of stuff. And these things came with some sticky parts, like the nails, sticky tabs. So I put them in here with the nail stickers. Yeah, I have to keep stuff organized, y'all, because I get all discombobulated. And in here I'm burning. Honeysuckle bouquet. <coughs> <coughs> All right, time to drink some water. Guys. No. Okay, peeps. It's three thirty-seven. I've been doing stuff. Friday, so I finally finished. Yeah, I got extra containers left, so I finally finished labeling them. This mint, since just the eyeball, I probably use this one first. Rose, pineapple. 
cantaloupe, honey peach, jasmine, orange, lemon, lavender, sakura, rosemary, and ocean. So I got them all. Now what I'm going to do, I got a container. I'm going to put them up under my bed. So, yeah. I ain't really got nowhere else to put stuff, y'all. I was telling the girl, telling Ring, I'm going to have to get one of them, like, things I bought for y'all closet and put in my closet. But, yeah, this worked. Okay, y'all, I'm done for today. I'm going to go find me something to eat for dinner. I had soup for breakfast. I had some baconator fries for lunch. Now it's time for me to figure out what I'm going to eat for dinner. I'll probably eat some of that leftover pizza. I got some leftover fish. I'll figure it out. All right, peeps. Peace. Hey, peeps. How you doing today? You doing good? That's good. You're not feeling good? That's my good. How I'm doing, y'all? I'm doing great. I'm good, y'all. So, uh, let's say our prayer first <laughs> before I start chit chatting, right? Okay, here we go. Let's pray for those that is not feeling good on whatever level, right? Father, we come before you on this day, and we pray for any and everybody that is not feeling good in their minds, their bodies, their spirit, and their soul. We pray that you come through, you heal them, you deliver them, you set them free from anything and everything that's keeping them bound in their hearts and in their minds. Father, we also lifting up those that don't lost loved ones, Heavenly Father. We pray that you comfort their hearts, speak to their hearts, encourage their hearts, and strengthen their hearts in Jesus' name. And Father, we praying and agreeing with those that's in the hospital or at home not feeling well in their bodies. Father, we touching and agreeing for full, complete healing and recovery in Jesus' name. Because by your strength, Jesus, we are healed. And no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Because greater is he that is in us than he that is in this world. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Got her done. Whoa! All right. <laughs> Been a minute, right? So, y'all, the date. The date. Hey. The date, a the date. Got my clear ones on today. Hmm. Today is October the 9th, Saturday at 12:15 in the p.m. Almost 12:30. Let's look at this weather. 77, but the real feel is 82. Mostly sunny. Sunny skies to grace the day. Followed by clouds in the evening. I got my air conditioner on. It's hot, y'all. So, right now it's 81. Tomorrow, Sunday, is supposed to be 82. Monday, 79. Tuesday, 74. Wednesday, 74. Thursday, 73. Friday, 71. So, it's going down. So, the humidity is at 52%. Tonight, Saturday night, the sunset supposed to um, happen at 619. Hmm. Almost 6 o'clock, y'all. And tomorrow night, Sunday night, at 618. How they be knowing when the sun's supposed to see? Huh? How they know? What equipment and technology they done came up with? So... That's done. So, y'all, what I want to chit chat about before I get into my read. Well, um, the hubby out there breaking the leaves because they don't start falling off the tree, off these humongous trees. But the city did come by and did a good trimming on the trees. Finally. Hey! Um. She ain't gonna work. Ring gonna work. Ring had to be at work at four this morning, so the hubby dropped her off. She catch the bus back. She, I think she had to be at work at eleven. Ten. She had to be at work at ten this morning. 
uh, ring it off at one, shin get off at two. So yeah. And me, hubby got up and he fixed us some breakfast. I had uh, two toasts of 100% wheat bread. Yeah, you got to pay attention to 100%. <laughs> uh, eggs and them brownie served sausage. Yeah, that's what we had. And what else? I got an Amazon package today, which consisted of my October gift from the hubby, which is some house shoes. I'm getting, I'm, I'm, I'm getting winterized, y'all. Because the winters don't be no joke. But right now, I got both my air conditions on because I've been moving. I'm hot. I'm, uh, it, it's like that. Um, but I'm thinking probably at the end of October or something like that, we should be, we should be taking the air conditioning out when we do I just got to uh, replace one, two, three plastics, four, where the air conditioner's at. So, I'm going to be getting ready to do that because it don't take long, man, for it to get cold up in here. So, um, but so far I had to turn my heat on. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, that gas bill ain't no joke. And then I also had got this. I, uh, look. This air be drying me out. My eyes, I have to keep eye drop. My I have to keep my eyes lubricated in the winter, y'all. When it get cold, and my nose, my throat, I suck on cough drops for that. And, and I keep drink, I keep my hot teas and stuff like that. But my nose, though. So look, I went on Amazon and I found me some nasal mist. To be keeping my nose moisturized up and there because it's real. So this is the can I end up getting. I read the review, so it's pretty good. Drug free. And it said use as often as needed. It mostly hit me at night. It's saying, I was telling my daughter about this. Child number two. Preventing dry nosebleeds. It also helps with better sleep. I also have a pregnancy congestion. And also help with sports. But, um, Selene, sterile saline solution, isotonic. Confident Men's helps release symptoms of dry, irritated nose and flushes, dust, dirt, pollen, and congestion from nasal and sinus, sin sinus passages. Safe to use during pregnancy. Yeah, you insert tip of nozzle into one nostril and press down on the texture area of the base of the nozzle so that gentle mist coats nasal passage. Blow your nose very gently to clear the mucus out. Repeat for the other nostril. Use as often as needed. Steroid and preservative free. Won't cause drowsiness. None habit for me. No side effects. Manufactured for a church and the white company in New Jersey. So we'll see how that works. And um, yeah, that's all I got today. I ordered the girls some more comforters because I don't know what they be doing up in there. But I ordered them some more comforters too. That might come tomorrow or Monday. And I ordered some Swiffer sheets. I think they said that's going to come Tuesday. So yeah. So. I guess that's about all the chit chat I have for y'all today. And when I talk a lot, my throat begins dry. It don't take much, y'all. So, yeah. So, here we go. Let's go and get into this read. It's Saturday. This is going to be my Monday video. Tomorrow, we're going to the movies to see Venom. Because normally we go on Saturdays, but they be working, so both of them off tomorrow, so we'll go tomorrow. It's cool, though. Um, yeah. So here we go, y'all. The sun. <coughs> doing something. Mm. Oh, yeah. We had to get up early this morning, set the alarm for 3 o'clock. So... The hubby could go take her to work at, uh, they left at 3.30, and then it was just, 
Then y'all, why I heard two shots? Why they had just left? And I'm going, I'm going all into panic mode. So I'm texting Rain because she got her phone and it's on and stuff. I'm like, did y'all hear shooting? She ain't responding. And my brain is going to go into like, oh my God. And I'm like, Rain, texting her. She ain't answering. So I'm calling the hubby on his phone because he take his phone too. And he finally answered after like it rings seven times. And I'm like, it happened just after they left. And it's, it's, it's a thing. It's like a war going on over here on this little strip and everything. So um, he found the answer. I said, man, it's a text range. She didn't respond. And she like, oh, she was falling asleep in the truck. That's what that was. I said, did y'all hear some shooting? He was like, nah. But he was almost, almost at the job and everything. So I was like, cool. But when he came back from dropping off, he saw police out there and he had blocked off. I'm like, I know something happened because I heard it like right there. Like, pow. Pow. I'm like, oh, man. I'm like, I hope they ain't get caught in no crossfires or nothing. Look. Y'all, I'm traumatized. For real, for real. Y'all don't even understand. I need therapy. I mean, maybe I'm going to find a book to read about that type of stuff. For real. So... He, he called me on the way back, and when he saw the uh, police is out there, he talked to me till he got home. <laughs> he said, it feels spooky out here this time of morning. I'm like, I know. So she normally, like, she take Uber, because um, she has to be at work at 5, right? So she take Uber uh, in the mornings and take the bus back, because... By the time 1 or 2 o'clock comes, it's, it's cool. It's, it's people out. It's the light. The sun up and everything. And on the weekends, like Friday morning, Saturday morning, the hubby drop off and then she catch the bus back because it only take really about 35 minutes for her to get home if the bus running good, you know? So, yeah. And so she getting ready to get off like at 1 and it's 12, 24, so... Yeah, and I just be on the phone with her through that whole thing on her way home. So let me get this reading. So, we into another topic, y'all. But chapter 10 is led to pray. This topic is led to pray for as long as it takes. Wow. Y'all already know Stormy be going in. She always feeding us. She keeping us full, right? Spiritually nourished. Yeah. Y'all, I be thinking I be seeing stuff. You put these ring glass on. Stuff be getting magnified. You start seeing things. It's probably just some dust, though. Okay, here we go. I forgot my clean ass, but it's cool. When you are praying for something important, don't give up and stop praying before the Holy Spirit leads you to. The angel of the Lord appeared to the barren wife of Manoah and told her she would conceive and bear a son. Wow. This is good. She was not to drink wine or eat anything unclean. And she was never to allow her son's hair to be cut. I know y'all know who this is, right? Shame on you. What? Okay. That's because he will be a Nazarite. Someone who takes a vow consecration to the Lord. And he will deliver Israel from the hands of the Philistines. Still don't know yet. That's in the book of Judges, chapter 13, verses 2 through 7. When the child was born, they named him... Samson, yeah, Samson. I Y'all mean, remember Samson and Delilah? Him, that him. As he grew, the spirit of the Lord began to move upon him. That's in the book of Judges, chapter 13, verse 25. The Lord empowered him by the Holy Spirit and prepared him to deliver Israel. Often in the seemingly barren times in our lands, when there has been unanswered prayer for a long time, if we, if we will keep praying and not give up, our prayers will eventually be answered with something great. They may not be answered the way we thought, but God will answer. Not he might. He will answer. He will show up. The Bible contains many instances 
of women who agonize over the inability to conceive. Wow, this is deep. Man, it's hidden. I know it is. Their prayers for a child go unanswered for an unbearably long time until one day the Holy Spirit reveals that they'll, they will not only conceive, but they will bear a child who be, will be used by mighty women. I'm getting all ahead of myself. Y'all getting excited. But they will bear a child who will be used mightily of God. Besides, Samson, other examples in the Bible of children from whom their mothers pray fervently are Joseph, Samuel, and John the Baptist. Each one a child of promise. That's deep. If you have been seeking God for the realization of a particular dream you had for a long time, God will put a word in your heart, and I'm a witness to that, about it. If the dream is from Him, <coughs> you will feel deeply that it is God's will, and you will have peace. Keep on praying, and don't give up. Nah. Keep on praying, and don't give in to discouragement, and you will eventually give birth to that promise. Wow, that was good. This was good. I got her done. This is hope. Keep hope alive. Keep praying. Don't give up. The Bible contains many instances of women who agonize over their inability to conceive. Their prayers for a child go unanswered. Woo! For an unbearably long time until one day the Holy Spirit reveals that they will not only conceive, but they will bear a child who will be used mightily of God. Samson was one of them. She prayed for that child. And God used him in a mighty way. I mean, it was said how he had to die, but uh, yeah, it was, it, was a, it was a good it's a good story. So man, that's hope, y'all, for those that y'all already know. When we're trying to have a baby or whatever, give, you're trying to give birth to a business, anything, you know? You got to pray. You got to pray fervently until the Lord show up with the answer. And like she say, how you will know it's from the Lord, you will have peace about it. We don't know what that answer might be. He might be like, nah. Or he might be like, in due time. But well, whatever the answer may be, God know, he knows the best. He see 400 years down the road, y'all. He already know what it is and what it ain't. You get what I'm saying? But you have to trust him and trust the process on whatever level it may be. And just keep hope alive. Because you got people getting pregnant in their 50s these days. Like, what? Woo! <laughs> so, yeah, I thought that was really good. We got her done. Pray. Let to pray for as long as it takes. Man. There's some good stories in that Bible. It's a lot of hope. It's a lot of encouragement in that Bible. Today is what I said it is, y'all. Y'all already know. October the 9th. 10 and 21 Saturday. So I'm gonna do another read. And it really ain't she she ain't text me yet. So let's get this prayers that avail much. I want to read from this book, so it's been a minute. So this prayer is to live free from worry. Ooh, this gonna be a good prayer, y'all. This gonna be awesome. This gonna be the solution. Here we go. To live free from worry. Father, I thank you that I have been delivered from the power of darkness and translated into the kingdom of your dear son. I commit to live free from worry in the name of Jesus. This for me. <laughs> I don't worry. I, uh, this for me. 
<laughs> for the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus have made me free from the law of sin and death. I humble myself under your, your mighty hand that in due time you may exalt me. I cast the whole of my cares and you name them one by one. All my anxieties. Three or four o'clock. Uber. Yeah. All my worries. Shoot. And they out there in the Yeah. All my concerns. Once and for all on you. You care for me affectionately and care about me watchfully. Oh, I like that. Jermaine Copeland. She got a way of writing things too, huh? Stormy, okay. You care for me affectionately and care about me watchfully. Wow. You sustain me. <laughs> you will never allow the consistency righteousness to be moved, made to slip, fall, or fail. Father, I delight myself in you, and you perfect that which concerns me. I cast down imaginations slash reasonings of every high thing that exalt itself against the knowledge of you. And I bring into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. I lay aside every weight and the sin of worry, which does try to easily to beset me. I run with patience the race that is set before me. Wow, wow, wow. Looking unto Jesus. Wow. The author and the finisher of my faith. Wow. Okay, okay, okay. This was for me, y'all. I thank you, Father, that you are able to keep that which I have committed unto you. And he knows. I committed all my children unto him. Look, I did one of those type of situations that um, Kunta Kente did with uh, Kizzy. And I think the daddy did that with Kunta Kente and Roots. I did that with my kids when I when I had them, y'all. Every all nine showed did. Okay, I thank you, Father, that you are able to keep that which I have committed unto you. I think on Fix my mind on those things that are true, honest, just, pure, lovely, of good report, virtuous, and deserving of praise. I will not let my heart be troubled. Mm. Speak, Lord. Speak to me. Hey. I abide in your word, and your word abides in me. Wow. Therefore, Father, I do not forget what manner of person I am. I look into the perfect law of liberty and continue therein, being not a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the word, and thus blessed in my doing. Mm. Thank you, Father. I am carefree. Wow. I walk in that peace that passes all understanding. In Jesus' name, amen. Y'all, why is these things be hitting me like this? Like, for real, be red like, that's what all my emotions. I see a net. I know I saw something. Man, this is it. This is it right here, little fee from worry. Man, she know she's seasoned. God, he know he be sending me these the seasoned women in my life. This the type of stuff I need in my life. I don't play no games. You have to be seasoned. <laughs> wow, for me to feel you. You know what I'm saying? Well, not really, but on God on this level, with the Lord, with Jesus, with my Heavenly Father, yeah. Oh, man, this was so good. I love this prayer. I never, let me write down. Man, I never, I, I read some of these prayers up in here, but I guess I hadn't got to that point yet. But this situation with rain, it's just, it's just, 
It got me all, I think it's the timing of things. And then knowing what be happening over here in my area, just in the city of Chicago. You know what I'm saying? It's like taking my faith, like it's being tried and it's being tested. <laughs> For real. And so yeah, 10, 9, 21. Yeah, that's what happens when you got nine kids and they just, the rest of the older ones, not so much, but if I feel some type of un trying to sit on me about my older ones, I'm either, I'm praying, but if it's just something heavy, I'm fasting. Because I don't know what's going in, going on in the spiritual realm and in the atmosphere. So I'm like, okay, Lord, something. They could be on the fund of spiritual attack. You just don't know. And if God lands something on me and he know I got an ear to give, I'm finna I'm finna I'm finna pray. And if I ain't got no peace after I prayed about it, I'm I'm taking it to the next level. I'm fasting for whatever, like if it be this child, that child, or multiple, or even certain people. God lays certain people, strangers, on me like that too, that I fast for. It's weird, y'all. But yeah, he's just trying to take me to another level. That's all. I already know. This is my last child. And it would be her, my only child that done been, got out here, get a job, that get these hours. Like, this uh, this new. This a new level here. <laughs> and I got the rise. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. But I am. I always do. It take a minute. But I, it's a process. But he know I'm going to get there. I always rise. I don't learn that. I learned how to do that. Whatever the situation is, I rise. Because I know God got me. I know, I know, I know, I know. This is a sign. No, I know. I don't know. So, y'all, I hope y'all enjoyed that read. Man, we got, we got spiritually fed today, y'all. Oh, we got some good, we did some good eating. We did some good eating. We did some smorgasbord type eating. What? Go to Corral ain't got nothing off. <laughs> ah, so I hope y'all enjoy both of those reads. That read and that prayer, man. That was it. That was for me. He already knows. See, that's what I'm saying. God knows. You ain't even got to say nothing. He said, I know your thoughts. He said, I'm watching you. He sweat. Well, how she said that? I don't even want to misquote that because that was the. I like how she put that. You care for me affectionately and care for me watchfully. See, he watching me. He know. He know. He know. <laughs> All right, y'all. That's it. My battery about to die and ring about to get off and everything. So again, I hope that spoke to you on some level, both of them, man. Because it's real out here. It's real. And we need something to hold on during these times. The times ahead forever. For real. Because we just don't know what's brewing in the atmosphere. What's, we just don't know. You got to have something to hold on to. So you won't stress yourself out and end up being depressed, uh, oppressed. Y'all already know anxiety out the roof nerves could cause you to have a nervous breakdown you know what i'm saying it get real so yeah all right y'all so on that note today is saturday this is gonna be my monday video so i hope everybody have a blessed monday a safe monday productive monday cured or done and protect the monday and tuesday and wednesday and thursday and i see y'all back at the table on friday and on that you know i'm out Peace, blush, yes, I mean, what? Ah, uh, holla, bye, y'all.